friggin' follows chalk. All that work, and what do I get for it? A pistol and a club. Yay. I mean, it could be worse. At least it's a good pistol and it's in full condition. But I kinda wish that he'd uh, let me know about it before I bought one from Joshua Frickin' Graham. So, <laughs> whoops. Well, I mean, it is a pistol, but it, it, it means that you, we repaired the 40. We repaired the, 40, the 45 pistol we already had with the 44. So the revolver's gone. The revolver's gone, and we have two useless pistols. Or rather, we have two useful pistols, but one that's. You know what? I'm gonna stop talking about it because I'm, I'm feeling sad now. Let's see. We're headed to the general store and the ranger station, and they're right next to each other to get, I think, some lunch boxes and some medical supplies. I'm not sure what makes the medical supplies so valuable, but at least we're gonna go grab them. So, that... Actually, why does Daniel want all these supplies? He, he, didn't, he wasn't exactly clear. It's like, I'm sorry that your tribal things aren't good enough. We need pre-war supplies to do something. Uh, best way to go it is probably just to walk along the road and then split off along the path there. And while we're at it, I think I want to see if there's anything over there at that, uh, looks like a radio tower probably. And if we check our map, I'm pretty sure we haven't been there, so yeah. Let's go check that out. <gasps> Hello. Hello, Cassadors. What a lovely reminder that I'm in hell. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. They're disappearing. I don't know what's going on. I don't like it. Not now. I'm panicking about murder hornets. You know what? I'm I'm trying to decide whether I really want to go up to that radio tower now that I know that all the all the hornets in the world are there. It's like you got one up there, you got one up there, and it looks like the path is going to be to go around, hit the river, and then come back up the back side of that hill. Oh, I'm a moron. I'm a moron. I'm walking towards murder hornets. I'm doing so knowingly. Why am I doing this? I should not be doing this. And now I'm panicking because I keep getting jump scared by geckos and mantises, and they are not the thing to panic about. You panic about the about, about the cazadores. <sighs> okay. Breathe. You're okay. Yes, Zion has Yaoguais, and yes, Zion has Casadores. Uh, breathe. Z He's like, think about the flowers. Think about the lovely wildlife that you're not going to get eaten by. You're going to survive this. You're going to be okay. You're talking to yourself. You're going completely mental. Because you don't have Eddie, you don't have your van, you don't have a bed. Yeah, this is... This is a productive way to think about this. You're going to survive this, Gabrielle. That's what we think about. It's like, we're going to survive this, we're going to go home, we're going to sleep for a week. Another taboo place from the old world, the Eyrie. Which implies eagles, I think. But, uh, I'm not seeing any. Is it called that because of the good view? <gasps> Do you see that? It's a... Could you keep it down with a gunfire? I'm celebrating my mattress! I have a mattress. I have a bed. I have a place I can sleep at night. Well, now the world's just showering me in generosity and giving me a 44 revolver to fix the one that I lost. <laughs> okay. Tell you what. We have an extra 45. There we go. And we can mod that back up with all the weapon mods. There we go. One fully modified 45 pistol and one full condition 44. Which I still don't have any ammo for because I thought that I was going to <laughs> be using the 45. I mean, I have some ammo that I just picked up, but it, it's, it's not really a lot, is it? I don't know why I'm getting so excited about the 44. It's like, it's basically a worse version of this, but it looks so much better and it sounds so much better. 
But I have a bed. I have a mattress with a roof. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's kind of impossible to get to. But it's it's like let, let me have let me have my 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 enjoyment of the situation, all right? Is is that a plane? Is that a plane that got crashed into the side of, into the, side of the mountain? Well, you know I have to investigate that now. And I see something else over there. Have we been there yet? No. So that's probably going to be up there on the trail. So once we once we once we clamber down from here, we can take go around here, swing around, check that out, and then hit the general store and the ranger station. <gasps> I just heard some gunfire. Who's shooting? Who and where? It's you shooting that guy with a really. Okay, I think Joshua Graham want me to do this. And yes, I realize I might have just, you know, upset every dead horse in... Not dead horse, every white leg in the valley. But you know what? It's been super weird that they killed my entire caravan and not me. So I've been just kind of itching to do that anyway. What was it he was shooting with? Ah, that's where it landed. A 12.7 submachine gun. Well, we'll keep an eye out on what, what actually is that. It's like, what does that actually do? 30 damage per shot and 274 DPS. With the <laughs> 14 12.7 millimeter rounds I have. Oh, but that's a really nice fire raid though. <laughs> oh, we night we we need to see who sells that back back in the Mojave. Oh, you're gonna come for me, aren't you? I don't like you. Stay where Could you hold still for two seconds? Like, even in bullet time, you're too fast. Oh, you've got a friend. You've got a friend. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like that Zion has Casabonis. Hold still! Yes, stay over there. Go away. How are you so fast? What is this? Oh no! Okay. I'm going to give my heart rate a chance to settle down. Oh. oh. I do not like. I do not like you. I really don't like you. Like the fact that you're that fast and that large and that ugly and. Oh. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm perfectly, hap perfectly happy to have my apocalypse with none of you, thanks. It's like when I go home to the Mojave and don't have to deal with you anymore, I'll be very happy. Incredibly, ha incredibly happy. I might even pay my employees. <gasps> oh! Oh, I don't like Zion anymore. Can the vacation be over, please? I want to go home. Everything hates me. And the feeling's mutual. And the plane's right there. I wonder, is there any way we can get up to that? Da, 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 da. What's the world say? Probably not. That's probably up on the cliff. And this is where I thought that station was. So maybe if we double, down, double, double back over here and come back up that trail, maybe we'll hit either the plane or the ranger station. That's probably what it is, right? I'm getting lost. I don't know where anything is anymore. It's been so long since I played this DLC all the way through that I, I, I've forgotten where everything is. And let me tell you, that is the best feeling in New Vegas. I saw movement. It's another bloody Casavor. Uh, why are there so many of you? Keep shooting. You. Okay. And we, we have a Yagwai too, because why the heck not, I guess? And I should just like to point out that uh, this thing took two shots to kill, and all the Casadores have taken like, you know, four or five. So yes, the, the giant murder hornets are like twice as tough as the giant mutated bears. Let's see, we should be able to get pretty close to the... Oh! 
There's there's a cave here. I didn't even see that. I was just looking for the plane. Let's see, is there anything below it? Any supplies that might have dropped out of the fuselage? I don't see any containers that I could loot. What actually is this? Is that like a, a propeller or... I can't quite tell. Oh! Speak of the devil, here we are. We have food, an empty skeleton, and a fresh apple. Which is still fresh somehow. And actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've actually seen any sources of, of apples. So I'm not sure where this one came from. Now let's go check out that cave, I suppose, and see if the world will see fit to bless me with a second mattress. Now keep in mind, this is a taboo cave. And as it is a cave, that means that it's not about the pre-war place, it's about this is a place where people have died before. Stay out of here because there's gonna be, you know, booby traps of some sort. Uh, the sun's starting to go down. Let's re I really hope there's a mattress in there because if not, we'll have to see if there's one in... Oh, the, 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 yeah, they really are right next to each other, the general store and the ranger station. One of those should have a mattress and if not, there's something up there for us to check out. Now, keep an eye out for traps, mines, trip wires, anything that could, you know, kill us. Hello. The hell are you? Combat range, medium, awareness, medium, low threat. Okay. I don't know what you are, but there's many of you here, and I don't like it. So we will quickly just do the smart thing and take you out before you realize we're here. Okay, and there's a... yep, that's a door back there. We'll figure out a way up there, somehow. And then, once I'm convinced that there's no more booby traps in this cave, I can actually loot safely. Ah, uh -huh. see? See? I saw Scrub Rush and immediately I thought, there's gonna be a trap under there. Is it a frag mine? No, it's a bear trap. This cave has me on edge. I'm checking my corners for everything. It's like, is there gonna be something in here? Let, let me up the ramp, dang it. And I almost landed directly in that bear trap. This guy, who, whoever this guy was, this park ranger or whatever, the guy, the guy who set, set all this up, he's mean. It's like, he's got not one, but two bear traps under here. And for a moment there, I thought that, I thought that that branch was a trip where I go like, are you serious? You have three in here. Oh boy, okay. Breathe. Even he wouldn't have. He does. He has three traps around this. Is you want to try for four? It is. It's like he laid this out with the intention that people should say, "Oh, a trap." Have you been here this entire time? It's like, I almost feel bad for shooting you because you weren't killing me, but uh, you. Scared the life out of me is what you did. I could have sworn I saw him moving in that corner of the room for some reason. Okay. Maybe it's just the, the giant murder hornets keeping me on edge. That's alright. Being on edge means we're paying attention. Means we're surviving. This is, this is fine. Ah, here we are. A little stairway up. We can take that. Being very careful to scan for, yes, a tripwire right there. Okay, now is there a frag mine playing around somewhere? If there is, I think I'd have blown up by now. We can pop the lock on this real quick and find even more bear traps. Seriously, what is with people who live here? Is, is that why everyone is building bear traps in, in, in their front entrance? Is because of this guy? because I said, oh, that's a good idea. We should do that. It's not. Okay. Do we at least have a mattress? 
We have a bedroll. That's almost as good. And we have lots of ammo, some frag grenades, and a cowboy hat. All right. Not too much here. Just some food, some ammo, you know, just some things that are good to have around. I'm not going to say no. All right. So what do you have to say about our friend with the bear traps? Yeah, so far we've gone from 2077 to 2095, so this would probably be the next one in the series, I hope. No, 2108. So it's been about uh, 10 years since our last entry. 10 sets of tracks half a mile northeast of Canyon Entrance. Barefoot. Saw them through scope. Corpse walking around. Finally gone crazy. Dimension, maybe. I'm not crazy. They're real. Dang it, they're real. Rush me the moment they saw me, snarling like animals. They look like corpses, but don't smell rotted. So our friend dealt with some ghouls for the first time. I'll be putting them out of their misery, doing for them what I could never do for myself. Okay. And another entry five years later. This guy was not a journaler, I guess. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, you useless old dinosaur. Happy birthday to me. What do you get a man who has everything? A bottle of whiskey and a 12-gauge slug through the roof of the mouth. Woo! Oh. Oh, this is depressing. What do I have to do to prove myself that I've lived long enough? I'm a shriveled old man, white beard, seen enough sunrise and sunset, saw the big sunset, been hanging on through the long night 36 years now. Ridiculous. Not getting myself into thinking there's anything on the other side of this. Things weren't so bad before I was born. Char and Alex... Sylvie and Michael, who could have been. So we've definitely missed a few entries, because I know we haven't heard of Sylvie or Michael, who could have been. And then the next day, didn't do it. Coward as usual. Maybe two bottles next year. And ten years later, 24 of them, half boys, half girls. Youngest is five, maybe. Old is 13 to 14. Dirty and scrawny, been on foot a long time. Children's Crusade. Struck camp on nearly the same spot as Los Mexicanos 30 years ago and a lifetime ago. I spent two nights listening to them. English. Literate. One of them reads stories while the little ones fall asleep. They escape someplace they call the school, but can't figure out where it was. When they want a little one to behave, they tell him to stop or the principal will get you. The principal better not show up or I'll blow his head off. I can still shoot straight. Okay, so we're definitely missing a terminal entry somewhere, because he mentions Michael and Sylvie, and Los Mexicanos. I think we talked about those. They are the ones he left the, 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 the microbacteria, mic microbicide or whatever. Antibacterial, that's the one. But there's something else we need to find out. It's like, we don't need to, but it's like, I found three of these terminals already. I've risked life and limb against this guy's bear traps and frag mines for no reason. So we need to find something else. Another terminal entry. And what time is it right now? It's almost midnight. So yeah, we're in a cave. We're alone. Let's have a lovely night's sleep before checking out that ranger station. I saw that body there and said, oh no, another one of you. Uh, you guys scare the crap out of me, you know that? And I think, I think I'm justified in that. It's like the fact that you're so fast. It's like, it's like I don't know whether, what, what you hit like, but, it, but it's like, I don't want to find out. Another taboo place. Are there any threats around here? I don't see any. Doesn't mean there aren't any, but it's like, you just came out of nowhere. I'm killing you just for that. <gasps> Where were you? Where were you? You were not there. That's not fair. That is not fair. You know what? We're going to put some, put down some frag mines. It's like, I checked. You were nowhere near me. You get all the frag mines in the world. And hopefully, if four fragmines aren't enough to kill you, I hope four fragmines are enough to kill you. There we go. I was gonna say I saw the critical pop up, and you just didn't die. You took you ate a critical from the Tesla rifle, and you didn't die. I don't like you. Don't forget that the fragmines are there. 
remember where they are so that if something comes out while we're here, we can run to the other side of them. Oh, close quarters, close quarters, shotgun time. There we go. See, I knew this shotgun would pay off because that way we can have, I mean, Technically, yes, I should have had this in my hands before I went inside the door, but still, it's a uh, ne 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 cripple right arms with shotguns. I I don't know what that's a reference to. I'm sure the comments will let me know. And pow! Just like that, you don't have a head anymore. <laughs> yes. This shotgun and I can be very good friends. You know that that that's the new that's the new order of things. Like whenever we're going inside a closed space, shotgun in the hands, aim it. You know, it's like open the door, sh shoot whatever's there. That way we don't blow ourselves up. And we are here for the little scout lunch boxes and a silence twenty two pistol. I wonder why does General Store have a little silence twenty two? It's like. You're not going to kill anything in the wild with a 22, will ya? And we needed, uh, how many did we need? Five of these? So we've got two of the lunch boxes. Need to find number three. Unlock the desk. We find da, 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 another lunch box. Thank you very much. And there's got to be a fifth one in here. It's like, ah, there it is. There we go. That's five little scout lunch boxes. I'm not sure what Daniel thinks he's going to do with five lunchboxes. He's like, wow, we can feed half the tribe once. Who the heck is running this shipping company? I just received three crates of Dinky the Dinosaur officially licensed dino action dolls. These things were supposed to go to some tourist rep in Nevada. How the heck did they get here? What the heck can I do with this stuff? Maybe we file off the Dinky trademark and turn them around as kitty souvenirs and make a few bucks, but I'm still looking at a major loss here. Whatever's going on in your, in your shipping department, take care of it, or I'll find someone else to handle my orders, I swear. I still haven't received that order of survival gear I requested last month. You know, things I can actually sell to people. I feel you, man. It's like, supply chains are always kind of tricky, tricky to sort out. But then again, if they were easy, there wouldn't be work for me. Oh. There's a key to that desk there for the very easy lock that I was able to pick way back in Good Springs. It's like, I think it's literally impossible to be unable to pick that lock. Okay. Scan around. I don't see anybody nearby. So let's collect our frag mines and walk off. And yes, I'm going to set up a barricade of frag mines when I get over to the to the general to, to the ranger station 50 feet away, because I don't trust Zion Canyon and it in in, in, the, in the slightest. Just you watch. It's like there'll be there'll be something there. It'll be a dog, and it'll just waste four frag mines, and I'll feel really dumb. But I'll feel dumber if it, if I die because I didn't have them. All right, shotgun out at the ready. Scorpions! See? Shotgun out. Because we don't want to get stung. And it, it's like, th this shotgun is a good friend. We're just gonna keep this out. What are we here for? Is it uh, medical supplies, I think? we ha Oh, look at that, a doctor's bag. Which is contaminated. It's mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfectant bottle is leaking. You can try to salvage what's there, or you can find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternatively, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Well, yeah, let's just sterilize the kit with alcohol. There we go. Now we can go back to Joshua Graham, give Daniel his whatever he wants. Because I guess there's a reason he wants them. I really hope it's not because he's a collector. Because I'll feel really dumb, really stupid, and really angry if it is. <gasps> And the world has blessed me with not one, not two, but three mattresses. Oh, the world. It, five. We're up to five. We even have pillows. We have pillows in this, you know, savage hellhole that is Zion Valley. Oh, one scotch, one vodka, one whiskey. Isn't that considerate of the game to put them right there in the fridge? I'm honestly surprised that nothing spawned here to try to kill me. 
I think I'm becoming paranoid. No wonder that guy. <laughs> it's like he lived in Zion for 36 years, he says. Of course he puts out frag mines. Ranger substation Osprey. It looks like we got some basic supplies in here. I thought I heard something just then. Ooh, ammo. Don't mind if I do. I mean, not that I actually use the Q35, but it's like, it's always good to have more stuff there. And can we be so lucky as to get a sixth mattress? No, you don't even have a bed here. I guess they probably slept over at the substation, at the, at the ranger station over there. Yeah, that, that would make sense. All right, back to Joshua Graham we go. What? You can't wait when enemies nearby. I didn't want to wait. I just want to check the time. What enemies are nearby? Oh, it's just one of you. Okay. You are not a caçador. You can be handled with a shotgun. All right, now we go back to now we go back to Joshua Graham. Unless there's anything else interesting we want to check out. Let's see, we have a boat down there. We have some Xanderoot over there. And I think I saw some Xanderoot, yeah, over there on that cliff face. And some dead horses who are about to be very rudely awakened to the fact that I have a nice sniper spot. And where's your friend at? I saw a third one. You want to just run out, run over there and check out your friends? Yeah, you do. <laughs> I shouldn't be taking such glee in this. I'm I'm probably a bad person, and by the end of this, the <laughs> the white legs will be justified in hunting me down. He's like, I'm sorry, but it's like I have a sniper rifle with lasers. I I realize that's not a justification, but I have one. Oh, you found me! Well done. Finally, somebody in the Zion Valley was able to say, huh. The lasers! Follow the lasers! And there's a gun at the other end of it. Well done. Now die. Huh? What are you doing here? I mean, besides dying to a tomahawk. It's like, that's the interpretation I have to imagine, is that you were here laying down with your binoculars, and then somebody came up behind you and stabbed you in the back. You know what? Let's not reenact that. Lest somebody decide to reenact it on us.